uh, the Inspector General of Police have kicked against uh, the support and drumming support for state police uh, by the ex-president Jonathan and others who are conversing for state police as a way of, of course, uh, ending this incessant insecurity, rocking the entire length and breadth of Nigeria. They think that is the way to go, state right, police. Good morning, Nigerians. Good morning, Nigerians. Good morning, Nigerians abroad. Good morning, Nigerians diaspora. Good morning, Nigerians anywhere you're watching me from. This is Alex Groma, the man that speaks the truth. First of all, I want to take on the ex-president. What were you doing while we were in your office? Why you not? You were once a president. So if you are saying, clattering for uh, state police, why didn't you create it while you were in the office? Please, I hate people that like to bring confusion. You were there yourself. You do not create state police. So somebody else is there. Why are you not advising him to create state police? Why you were there, people were gunning for state police. You did not listen to them. I want to pick on the ex-president. You shut up. You don't talk. Just watch because you are, you are a father. You are a father to the nation. You are not supposed to talk. Just watch people. Even when things are going wrong, he yes. don't deserve to talk. He's not supposed to talk because he was there as a president. I remember very well when nothing. Jonathan was there. People were clamoring for state, state, state police. He did not do anything. So Nigeria should stop this from it. Just like every time a passenger uh, comes out to make noise. I feel like I feel like sometimes I don't know what is wrong with this man, this baba. Why are you talking? You were there as a president. All this thing you are saying, you never did any of those things. So why, why are you not talking now? Why now that somebody else is there? You suddenly remember that you are supposed to do it like this. I hate it. I hate it. Please, Nigerians. The reason why I'm talking this form is because when you are in power, do the right thing, my bro. Do the needful. It is because when they were in power, they did not do the needful. Tomorrow, Tinubu now, another power will enter. Tinubu will be advised again. Why well, he has the opportunity that to have done saying. what is right. That's what I'm saying. So you were there as a person. Jonathan that is talking. You were there. I was in Nigeria when they were shouting, state police. You did not listen to them. Why are you not shouting state police? Why are you not come out, coming out now to say state police? What is wrong with you? My friend, go to your bedroom. The ones that you rule is we. So you have fed, you have feed yourself, feed your generation and to come. You have fed everybody. For, there is money. You have stolen Nigerians' money. So why are you talking? Go and face your family. Let Nigerians face what is facing us. But so, uh, I don't expect Jonathan to talk. If there's anybody to talk. I know very well that some people say, this man is an anti-Jonathan. It is not being an anti-Jonathan. It is saying the truth. Because he was there as a president. He never did anything concerning the state police. Somebody else is there as a president. You are not talking. I think the problem with this nation is that when you are as a president, everybody wants to correct you. Everybody is a teacher. Everybody is a teacher. In as strong as I know that Tinubu is not doing the right thing. Don't stop me. That people like Jonathan will start talking. When you were even there, what was the achievement? That's what I keep asking Nigerians. So please, you coming out to tell us that uh, 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 we are supposed to. What can you say about uh, IG, Inspector General of Police, opposing the move to create state police that can police the locals? Okay. I want to ask you if you are the IG, will you sit down and watch? Of course, he would do the same thing. They want to remove food from his mouth. So he's going to sit down and watch. Uh, uh, come on, this is common sense. I would do the same thing too. If I'm in the IG shoe, I would try to quench everybody that is shouting the police. Which means you are benefiting from the insecurity uh, rocking the entire all nation. All and uh, whatever solution that may uh, the need it at board, you will oppose it. For your selfish interest. Let me tell you something. They are benefiting from everything that is happening in this country. Look at what is happening to Emile Feli. Did you know all these things that is happening to him? When he was there, Emile Feli, Emile Feli. Did you ever imagine that one day that Emile Feli will be reduced to what he is today? That's the problem with them. He was thinking 
all the hell and the all almighty Ebe Philip. Those days now be reduced to a shackle. That's to tell you that, see, when your time comes to be reduced to shackle, there's nothing you can do. So everybody has their own time. So it's a gradual thing. It's a gradual thing. But apart from Jonathan critics and uh, the rejection of IGP, I mean, Inspector General of Police, what do you think about state police? I know that state police is the best. But let me tell you something in this country. They will never support state police. Our government are so wicked, so bad to the extent that they will never support state police. So you, agitators, you Nigerians, could be clamoring for state police, but the government are not thinking that way. And it's until when the government moves something before something happens. So in as strong as they are not a support of it, you are just talking because the government is benefiting from it. The government is benefiting from it. So that's why they will never support state police. I mean, imagine every state. Go and get your police. How do you think the government will have say? How do you think a government that is controlling police in, Niger in the whole Nigerian Federation? You cannot be you cannot be controlling Federation of police again. This do you know that if they create um, state police, the government will have more power, control over his police than even the president. And possibly might use it, of course, to his own advantage to fight his supposed uh, opponents or enemies. See, let me let me tell you the truth. All those who are saying state police, they are the ones that stupid people that want to become governors. They will they will use it in to intimidate the poor masses. That one is sure. For now, let's forget the issue of state police. Let's be managing Nigeria until we are ready, until we get to that level. Nigeria is not yet to that level because they will abuse state police. That's the problem. They will abuse it. So let's start managing this one. Let's start to matter manages our police. Shonsa, Shonsa. Let's start to manage them. Until we get to that level. Whereby we say, okay, we have gotten to that level. Because if you look at what is happening now around you, listen, the other day, I will slap any Nigerian that keep telling me their things are changing in Nigeria. One boy told me, came to me that rice is at 60,000. Are you know that dollar is still rising? No, come on. Now, somebody gave me 85,000 to buy rice. Bros, I don't they happy. Say, I will come out 25,000. I went to the place the guy told me that rice is 60,000. I bought rice for 25,000. I bought rice for, uh, sorry, for 85,000. I will slap any Nigeria that tell me things are cheap on that terrible government. Things are becoming more expensive. And the reason why this is happening because we have a president who doesn't have a thinking faculty, who is not educated. See, let's call a spade a spade. Tinibu did not go to school. That is why we are facing these problems. You cannot, Tinibu is not a graduate. Anybody say Tinibu is a graduate, let him come and say in front of me. I can never stop him because Tinibu is not a graduate. Jonathan, that is a doctor, has backed a doctorate degree. What, how, how far did he left Nigeria? Jonathan, oh, let me tell you what, really, what a little bit. I'm not a fan of Jonathan. But what, what a little bit, he was able to appoint some right people in the position. So the people in the position, what during Jonathan time, not Jonathan, he appointed people with experience, people with brain that worked for him. So that's why I look at John Jonathan time, we did not feel the heat. The why it looks as if we're feeling the heat now is because appointment is by Pali Pali. Paddy, paddy. So it's not by whether you are qualified for it or not. So his appointment is by Paddy Paddy. Let me tell you, I will not be surprised if Tinubu mistakenly wake up one day, appoint MC Oluomo as the minister of something. I will not be surprised. Nigerians can be surprised. I, MC Grammar, will not be surprised.
because it is something it can do. Because it is a party party government. It is a party party government. Thank you so much. Hello, mother, did not go to school. That they will just appoint you, come and become one minister for something. That's how it happens in this country. But listen. I am Hello, Mo is uh, one of the big boys, uh, of course, in the in National Union of Road Transports. Yes, I know. You know, he's, he's in control. Yes. He decides, uh, of course. That was uh, them, but now. That was them. He's in control. No, that was them. He now he's not. Yes, he has gone to Abuja. What I'm trying to say is that MC Oluwamanda, you are talking about. You understand? We all know. And there's no difference between MC Oluwamanda and Wiki. The way, listen, Nigerians, the way.